What's happening, everybody? Matt Crump, be right with you. What's happening, everybody? Your pal Matt Crump, and I am in my studio getting ready to do some work here today with uh, my son and uh, get some content to come up here on LinkedIn. Figured I'd go live and do a quick hello. And um, I'm jamming a little bit on the guitar. Figured I'd invite you to come along with me. Why not? You know, we're all hanging out together, right? So let's have some fun. So I dig the Beatles, and uh, a lot of times I put uh, the Matt Crump twist on things, and that's what I'm doing here today. Uh, thought we'd just have some fun. Maybe I'd burn a little bit of a song in your head. You want to sing along? This one's called Eleanor Rigby. Eleanor Rigby picks up the church when the wedding has been. Is in a dream. Waits at the window, wearing the face that she keeps in the jar by the door. Who is it for? Writing the words of a sermon that no one will hear As no one comes near, look at him working Donning his socks in the night where there's nobody there All of what does he care? It's all the lonely people Where do they all come from? All the lonely people church and was buried along with the name of oh, oh, cause nobody came out of the Kenzie wiping the dirt from his hands as he walks from the grave cause no one will say how the lonely people Woo. 
So a big part about that keyword is uh, for me is thinking about lonely people. Yeah, all the words about that song weren't exactly to point with what we're facing right now, but uh, some things are. And uh, that song kind of hit me today, thinking about people that are that are lonely, that are bored, that are lost, in despair, people that are hurting, scared, concerned. I get it. Everybody's tired of hearing some of the same stuff, but y'all, we're, we're living with the same stuff. And it's, it's not a good time. Now, it doesn't have to stay bad. Um, bad things will happen. I can, I'm living proof of that. Bad things happen to good people. Um, but it's what we do together that, that matters. It's, it's the intention of our hearts that make the difference. Yeah, we all need to make a living. Yeah, a lot of us are having a difficult time doing that right now. It's hard to ask for money when you know people are having a hard time spending it, especially if they're not making any. It makes it difficult to stretch people to their full potential when nobody knows <laughs> what tomorrow holds. I got news for you. We've never known what tomorrow holds because tomorrow is not promised. Yesterday is gone. Now is all we have, my friends. So if anything I can do, this guy, is that I care about lonely people. I care about people who are, are ready for more. They don't know how to ask the right questions. They don't understand certain circumstances or situations. There's uh, millions of, of courses and, and comments and programs that are available out there. I mean, they're all right. <laughs> uh, I think there's a lot of them that are. Some really great stuff out there. Some incredible people on this platform. Incredible. Life-changing, transformational information we have at our fingertips every day. Every day. And I'm a guy. I work as hard as I can to help you achieve what you want. I mean, literally. Like, if I drop dead today, then... I feel like I've done what I'm supposed to do. I wish I could have done more. I wish I could get more traction. I'm just being transparent. Um, because I'm, uh, it's fire in my bones. You know what I'm talking about. It's for you too. And, um, you know, if you don't do something about it, nothing happens. <laughs> it's pretty simple. And if you do something about it, then something does. You know, I'm playing around with algorithms and, and tags and likes and this stupid uh, connection comment thing. Everybody has to, you know, everybody has to all of a sudden connect with each other, but you don't know me. You don't know anything about me. I've got people that want to connect with me and say, you know, I'm, I, I understand that you're uh, in the oil and gas industry. Really? I mean, read my freaking profile, would you? If you want to connect with me, make it real. This is the time, folks. If you don't have time, <laughs> when you have time to make time, then you need you need some work. Yeah, it's a, it's a checkup from the, well, it's not a checkup from the neck up. It's a checkup from the chest up. You know, some people are about 18 inches from truth. That's from here to here, folks. There's a big difference right there. All right, so I'm on my soapbox today because I care about people. I care about you. And I don't know who watched this live today. I just wanted to go on just to, to do it and have some fun and sing a song. And I hope you enjoyed it a little bit. Um, I'm a little bit passionate today. You know, I'm an old guy and I cry at commercials. <laughs> but I, I'm, I care about you. That's why I'm this way. Um, I can't express to you how much I, I care about you all and think about you and and uh, and want to to do things to help 
make a difference. That's why I post the things I do, give the videos away I give away, the slides, the series, the, the books that I write. I mean, come on, y'all, go check out my stuff. There's a bunch on there for you for free. And, um, you know, if you want something to do, I mean, I've got hundreds of videos and resources just on my page alone that you can go back through and check out. No strings attached. Now, you want to go deeper? I'm ready to rock and roll. <laughs> got the guitar and everything, so uh, it may not be that great, but you know what? I mean it. Been there, done that. Lost the t-shirt, got another one. <laughs> Folks, it's time for us to care about each other in ways that are, are not super selfish. There's always going to be some selfish parts in what we do, but at the heart of it all is other people. And I want to encourage you to, uh, to have strength during this period of time, to find ways that you could enhance somebody else's life without any expectation of anything in return. No expectation. If we'll spend more time with zero expectation during this particular time in the history of humanity, it will make a difference. I promise you. And money. <laughs> I had a very, very wise friend tell me this. I hate it, but it's true. <laughs> Here's the secret. Money is never the problem. It's a symptom. It's not coming to you. There's a symptom. It's not a problem. What's going on? What's blocking it? There's no reason why it shouldn't come to you. Me either. If we examine our hearts and deal with the symptoms, everything will be all right. That's exactly what's going to happen now. Everything's going to be all right. So a uh, little Pastor Matt had I'll put on here today for some of you that know my background. And uh, a couple of my favorite scriptures, Genesis 50, 20, that what evil means for our destruction, what the enemy, what Satan, what the devil means for our destruction, God means for our good, the creator of the universe, not the universe. The universe has no power. It's God who's the creator of the universe. That's where I stand, it's what I believe, it's what I know, it's what I've experienced. Don't mean to offend anybody, but you can't give entity to something without expressing, ex expecting there is more to it. <laughs> and I believe, I believe that there's a God who created it all. And yeah, Bad things happen to good people. It's not his fault. We screwed up a long, long time ago. We let a lot of bad things happen in this world. And uh, that's the price sometimes. I hate it, but this is what it is. But in the meantime, don't think for a second he doesn't love you. Don't think for a second he hasn't found, oh, well, not found, that he doesn't have a way out. <laughs> he does. And it could be you for somebody else. It could be you saying yes to what you're saying no to right now. If you say yes to one thing, you say no to something else. What are you saying yes to today? And what are you saying no to? Because my friends out there, there's a lot of lonely people. And they're waiting for somebody with an answer. I hope you hear it today. The title of my book that's available everywhere online is called Hashtag God's Got This. I'll explain more about God's got this to y'all over the next uh, next month or two and uh, what's been going on with that book and the movement there as well as uh, my program, The Flip and whatnot, you know. But uh, in the meantime, I'm really here just because I care about you. All right? 14 minutes worth of it. I've taken up all your time. I hope y'all have a fantastic rest of the day. Today is uh, Wednesday, I believe. Today's Thursday. Yeah, Thursday, the 2nd of April. And uh, we are... Moving on to uh, to the end of a weekend. Let's keep praying for each other. Let's believe for miraculous healing. Let's believe for a miraculous antidote for supply chains to be opened, for people to communicate clearly and effectively with one another so that we, human beings, can experience the healing that's meant for us, was paid for. All right, my friends, God bless you, and uh, I hope you have a great, great afternoon and weekend. If you need anything that I can help you out with, feel free to DM me, reach out, and we'll see what we can do that's um, 
something that might make a difference in your life, all right? I'd love to help you. God bless you. Talk to y'all soon. Peace out. Thank you.